They say it came first from Africa, carried in the screams of the enslaved. That it was the death bane of the Tainos, uttered just as one world perished and another began. That it was a demon drawn into creation through the nightmare door that was cracked open in the Antilles. Fuku Americanus, or more colloquially, Fuku. Generally a curse or a doom of some kind, specifically the curse and the doom of the new world. Also called the Fuku of the Admiral because the Admiral was both its midwife and one of its great European victims. Despite discovering the new world, the Admiral died miserable and syphilitic, hearing Dike, divine voices. In Santo Domingo, the land he loved best, what Oscar at the end would call the ground zero of the new world, the Admiral's very name has become synonymous with both kinds of Fuku, little and large. To say his name aloud or even to hear it, is to invite calamity on the heads of you and yours. No matter what its name or provenance, it is believed that the arrival of Europeans on Hispaniola unleashed the fuku on the world, and we've all been in the shit ever since. Santo Domingo might be fuku's kilometer zero, its port of entry, but we are all of us its children, whether we know it or not. But the fuku ain't just ancient history, a ghost story from the past with no power to scare. In my parents' day, the fuku was as real as shit, something your everyday person could believe in. Everybody knew someone who'd been eaten by a fuku, just like everybody knew somebody who worked up in the palacio. It was in the air, you could say, though, like all the most important things on the island, not something folks really talked about. But in those elder days, fuku had it good. It even had a hype man of sorts, a high priest, you could say. Our then dictator for life, Rafael Leonidas Trujillo Molina. For those of you who missed your mandatory two seconds of Dominican history, Trujillo, one of the 20th century's most infamous dictators, ruled the Dominican Republic between 1930 and 1961 with an implacable, ruthless brutality. A portly, sadistic, pig eyed mulatto who bleached his skin, wore platform shoes, and had a fondness for Napoleon era haberdashery. Trujillo, also known as El Jefe, the failed cattle thief and fuckface, came to control nearly every aspect of the DR's political, cultural, social, and economic life through a potent and familiar mixture of violence, intimidation, massacre, rape, co optation, and terror. Treated the country like it was a plantation and he was the master. At first glance, he was just your prototypical Latin American caudillo, but his power was terminal in ways that few historians or writers have ever truly captured or, I would argue, imagined. He was our Sauron, our Aran, our dark side, our once and future dictator, a personaje so outlandish, so perverse, so dreadful that not even a sci-fi writer could have made his ass up. Famous for changing all the names of all the landmarks in the Dominican Republic to honor himself. 